I've been here for about 45 minutes and just haven't found anything. There used to be a school here, I believe, and uh, I know they brought field dirt in because there's a hill. And so I'm going to work my way in a straight line back to my car and uh, I'm moving on. Hunted across this field. I've worked my way down to where I am now and just haven't found what I'm looking for. So it looks like uh, this is going to be uh, one of those hit and run days, but uh, I'm not going to waste too much time here because I don't have a lot of time. So I'm moving on. All right, I'm at the site, and uh, didn't take me long to get a deep or semi-deep high tone target. Well, maybe it's not as deep. Uh, I think the grass kind of threw the depth meter depth meter off, but. Uh, the death meter. <laughs> Let's check this out and see what it is. Hope you can see uh, what's going on here. a little too close to the action. Well, I flip the plug and you can see the coin right here. It's a clad quarter. I believe. Hold on a second. 1970 clad quarter. Thought it was going to be silver. All right, right there is where I just dug that clad quarter and I just want to show you that uh, even though I'm not in a park or hunting in a well manicured lawn I still do my best to uh, cut a neat plug and and just make everything look like it did before I arrived. i a, a grass field and uh, my first good find is a 1940s weedy. All right, uh, finally struck silver. Have not uh, looked at it yet, so we'll do that now and see what we have. Looks like a silver rosy. 1952. Let me look at it off camera. I believe it's a buffalo. Let me clean this one up a little bit, see if we can get a date on it. Maybe you can see a date, but I can't. Okay, it looks like a 1936. They also, uh, Cleaned up that silver dime a little bit. Man, isn't silver beautiful. Can you see where I just dug that wheat scent? If you're having a tough time, then uh, I did a good job uh, putting the plug back. Well, it's a good day for wheats. Uh, got another one, 1942. It's kind of neat. I just cut the plug, push it up and back, and look at this. I think it's a wheat. That's another wheat scent. Oh, looks like we got a ring. 
Let me clean that up and we'll take a better look at it. Well, I can't tell if it's sterling silver or not, but uh, pretty neat find. I tried to find uh, the piece that was the piece that's missing, but uh, couldn't find it. Okay, I've got a nice high toned signal. And uh, a little depth on it. Pinpoint from this direction. Sounds good from uh, this direction, too. Alright, it's about, uh, I'm going to say five inches deep. Okay. Hope it's silver, that's what I'm thinking, that's why I'm filming. But you never really know. I see it. Kinda looks like silver. Can you see that? Let me get you in real close. That is silver. I'm telling you what, there's nothing like silver precious metal that is shiny from the depth of that hole like that. That is amazing. Let me clean this up. Here, here's the first look. I don't know what that is. I think I see the name George. Let me clean it up and uh, we'll take a better look at it all right um, it is silver I believe it's a Canadian silver dime from uh, 1944 yeah 1944 pretty cool Here are my finds from today. There's some of the garbage. I unloaded some of it uh, when I passed garbage cans. I got some quarters, modern clad, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Wheaties, a ring that may or may not be silver, 36 Buffalo, 52 Silver Rosie, and a 44 Silver Canadian Dime. So I'm pretty happy with uh, these finds and uh, I just want to say that uh, um, today was a hit and run day that's how it goes sometimes you uh, you go to sites that uh, you think may have some good targets and you try them out and if you don't find anything in a, a decent amount of time then uh, you know you really have to think about moving on to uh, you know better sites and uh, you know I hit a few places today and ended up right here at this place where I at least found some silver and uh, redeemed myself. And I can say that uh, I didn't get skunked today. Also, uh, I didn't cover this whole place, so I've got another place to come back to. So uh, I wish all of you the best of luck in your hunts and uh, happy hunting. <laughs>